What is going on, guys? We are back with an amazing video here. Today, we're going to be showing you guys the top five pro player classes, top five classes that people are using, the meta, the current meta, all the classes, all the best guns for you guys to show you guys that what you should be using. Obviously, if you guys want to improve or do really well, these are attachments you should be running. These are the classes you should be running in order to compete with all the other guns. Now, a lot of you guys know the meta has shifted recently a little bit. The brand is still the best gun, in my opinion. It's still the best overall gun but there's other ars that are viable as well they can kind of compete with the brand and from the smg standpoint the mp40 did receive a little nerf but there is also another main key smg that can compete with mp40 there's actually two low key uh but this one is specifically is loki a secret weapon that i'll be sharing with you guys as well so we got a lot of guns to show you guys a lot of attachments i want to go through some of these classes and these attachments and kind of explain some things to you guys and you know breaking down a little bit as we're going through all of them um, show you guys the different var variations some stuff you can change uh that would obviously improve them or maybe fit to your play style so without further ado let's get right into these classes and show you guys the top five best classes right now so no other than the brand we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with this gun this gun got nerfed recently uh this barrel used to basically make it a sniper it had no damage fall off so you can basically like five shot a guy across the map five six shot it was very insane now they finally nerfed it they made it a little bit more balanced the gun is still incredible it still kills insanely fast recoil control is really good and it has a lot of range so these are attachments i'm currently rocking right now um a lot of you guys know for the ammunition i used to look you run incendiary rounds but you lose damage range bullet velocity and you kind of notice it so landed is definitely the play uh you definitely want to be running that um for the most part these are the attachments you should be running uh i know i like mercury sensor more because the recoil control is better you can even go mx sensor if you don't want to lose less damage um but this gun hits it kills very fast recoil control feels great and obviously has a lot of range so these are basically the attachments you should be running if you want to beam and don't miss a bullet and this is probably going to stay meta up until they nerf it so hopefully soon now for the next ar we're going to be talking about a sleeper pick the automaton a lot of people are starting to use this gun i don't know if you guys have been watching the warzone pros or big streamers uh they're actually having a lot of fun with this gun because it competes with the brand it's viable it's strong it hits and it has good range overall this gun is really effective it's really good um it, it did receive a buff in the last patch which basically allows you to control the recoil more therefore making it more viable um, I am rocking the MX Sensor. We got the Sniper for the bullet velocity and range. 3 to 6, Skeletal, Carver, 75 round, lengthened, polymer, tight grip, and fully loaded. Now, this is more of a, a little bit more of a damage class versus, I mean, other than the 75 rounds, I'm not running damage uh, mags. But the reason I say damage is because, you know, some people like running the Mercury Sensor for more um, recoil control. And you lose a little damage range, which kind of sucks. But in my opinion, I feel like um it's the recoil control with these attachments itself it's still pretty good it's not like it's it's impossible to control you can still control it pretty well and the damage output is a little better because if you start putting some stuff like the mercury sensor and for the barrel of you know you, some people like the 600 uh this one the 600 mm yes it will beam more it will beam a lot more but the difference is is not that big it's a slight difference and you're losing a lot of velocity and damage which you kind of don't want that so if you feel like you you need to control the recoil a little more, you can put like this barrel on and just that's it. Or you leave the sniper on and you put Mercury Sensor to help that extra low recoil control. But overall, these are attachments you should be running. People have even even ran the, the padded instead of the skeletal for accuracy and recoil during the same fire. But I like the skeletal more, especially because of the initial and the strafing speed. Now, the next one we're going to be talking about is the Cooper Carbine. Uh, this is another AR that's been pretty viable in the current meta. A lot of people have been using it. It kind of beams a little harder than the auto, but doesn't hit as hard as the auto. That's what's so amazing about the automaton. So these are attachments I'm currently running. Uh, again, you try to minimize, you know, you don't want to put Mercury Sensor on it because you lose damage range. You got to understand, like, these type of guns, they shoot fast and they have very low recoil. But you need to make sure it has damage because if not, the Bren is just going to outclass you very easily. So we got the MX Sensor, the Cooper Custom, three to six times. Uh, this is kind of... Um, I mean, it's personal preference. Like, you can run the 2.5, uh, the G16 2.5, or even the Slate Reflector. Some people like this one. Oh, no, not this one. Where is it? Slate Reflector. 2.5x Slate Reflector. Um, They're all good. I'm a big fan of the 3 6 times. I rarely use the 6 times. So once in a while, you know, you do you just do use it. You zoom in, and you start tapping it. You never want to fully auto it. Usually, you tap it. You burst fire it. Um, But I love the 3 6 times. It feels great. looks clean. 
Uh, 45 RS is really good. Some people like running the W for the accuracy during sustained fire. And then you can get more recoil when crouch or uh, control when crouch or mounted or prone. So, you know, this can help, you know, if you are going to use this attachment, make sure you kind of crouch more prone more when you're going to shoot and even mount obviously can be more effective. And these are kind of the attachments I'm running. It's basically a very strong um, Cooper AR version, right? Very low recoil. Damage output still pretty good, especially, you know, they buffed it a little bit the last patch. And, uh, you know, it is viable. It is viable. Can compete with the auto. Can compete with the brand. Um, I won't lie to you. The brand still hits a little harder than uh, both of these guns. But the good thing about the ARs, the one of the best things about them is they're looser and they have quicker ADS. Usually a little bit more strafing speed. So even though a Bren can melt you if they're posted up, if you catch a Bren lacking or like it's a straight up like 1v1 gunfight, like you have your AR, they have AR, and you kind of catch them like it's not posted up pre aiming you, uh, you can't win the gunfight, which is huge. So that's a good thing about the AR, and they're a lot more fun to use. But these are basically the three ARs people are using right now that are the best. Uh, I've dabbled with the SCG. I'm a big SCG fan, but unfortunately, I just think these are more consistent. The SCG is a low-key slapper, though. Now, let's go to the two SMGs. First of all, we're going to be talking about the good old a good old MP40. This gun got nerfed a little bit in the last patch, but it's still really freaking good, man. I absolutely love the MP40. I'm a big fan of the gun, just long-term, just, you know, in general from the past. Uh, I've loved the MP40 for years. And uh, this is the test I'm currently running. You know, you got the recoil booster with the 45 round fire rate mags. And you have unmarked to kind of help you uh, with your like kind of a position a position concealment. Um, it's really good, man. The time to kill is insane. I like running tape to grip because it's basically an amped attached to it. And you can kind of get away with it. Um, these are attachments I'm currently running. Um, to make so give you guys some slight uh, variations you can do of this is instead of standard rounds, you can run hollow point or even lengthened. Um, if you want to, you know, hollow point to help you kill faster if you hit those lower shots. I'll lengthen for some longer range gunfights. Obviously, when you run standard air rounds, you lose a little velocity, a little range. But the standard air rounds are low-key kind of cheesy. So they're really good, to, especially when you're, like, hunting down someone. They can't play it up. You know, you're kind of on their ass, and it's really effective. Um, I do run hand stop as well for that extra recoil control. I'm a big fan of hand stop. If you feel like, you know, some people like skeletal instead of hand stop just for that quick ADS. And obviously, there's no cons. So that's if you want to be a little more faster on your ADS. But I think hand stop, the only thing you lose is hit fire. I don't hit fire. I don't know if you guys hit fire. You probably don't. Hit firing is not that effective with these guns. You know, you might as well, unless you got the PBSH hit fire. Um, but I like hand stop, tape grip, unmark quick. So these are basically when I'm rocking instead of the slate, you can run the iron sights. Um, again, I'm just a fan of, you can run one of these. Um, I'm just a fan of the slate. It just looks cleaner, easier to see through. Uh, I feel like I don't lose my opponents, but it, you know, you can always run these things as well. Um, but for the most part, this is a, the attachments. Uh, like I, I give you guys a couple of variations. And like I said, tape grip, it's not a necessity. It feels nice and clean, but you can always add stipple grip for the initial fire and recoil to kind of combat the folding stock because it takes away initial fire and recoil. Um, you can run stippled. You can run, you know, polymer. You can run hatchet for horizontal recoil. You can mess around with some of these attachments. You can run fabric if you want more ADS and sprint to fire speed. Um, but right now, I like tape grip, and it's kind of what I'm rocking. And for the last one, the secret beast, man, the freaking Owen. Uh, this gun has been low-key under the radar. A lot of people are starting to use it. I've used it myself, and this thing is a shredder, man. It's actually really freaking good. Uh, I, I, It kind of, like, caught me off guard a bit because I've used it before, and I'm like, the Owen low-key has potential, but... The bullet of velocity, or it's not necessarily the bullet velocity, the, the fire rate and slash the bullet velocity kind of sucks at times. So if you really don't hit your shots, you can get punished. And that's the thing that sucks about it. But if you're, you know, hitting your shots and you're on, it's insane. Like, it's really freaking good. Um, but these are the attachments I'm running right now. Uh, these are just feel the, the nicest. Uh, feels fast, feels clean, feels um, damage output is great. Obviously, you got the recoil booster with the 72 rounds, um, high fire rate. Um, you know, I am running acrobatic and quick for that full movement speed. The only thing that's the only downside I will say about this, uh, these attachments of this gun is that you will appear on the radar, but you know, when you're in people in front of people and on the interface pushed up with this gun, you will probably win your gunfight 90% of the time. This thing is incredible. Um, you can switch things up a little bit. Like I would say, keep I mean, it depends if you really favor movement speed, I would say, keep a lot of these, uh, movement speed ones. Uh, for ammunition, you know, you can run lengthen, you can run standard air rounds. Um, this the rounds, uh, the barrel you kind of want to keep. Um, for you, you know, for this, you can you don't have to run hand stop. I just like it for the extra recoil control. But you can you, you know you can run something else. Uh, you don't have to run run pine tar if you want to run fabric. You know, 
you can kind of mess with some of these but for you know most of them like the barrel the muzzle the magazine um the perks you kind of want to keep those the stock um you can run the full uh which one is it i think it's this one the the ravenwood um i like to remove stock more though it feels a little better in terms of like movement speed ADS speed all these ex uh, extra things that uh kind of helps make it looser but this thing is a sleeper i think it competes with M4, mp40 right now and obviously um i also got this class um the well gun is really good this is low-key this is not i'm not going to add it it's not part of the five but it's low-key really good too and kind of competes with mp40 in the owen this is more of a dominant up close gun though it's not that good at a range so it's really good up close but this is, this is one of my other classes but yeah all right guys so those are the top five classes right now uh we got those three ars and the two subs um though they're basically meta and viable the brand is still the most dominant one out of all of them though i think the brand is absolutely incredible i hope you guys enjoyed today's little video just kind of a class setup uh guiding you guys giving you guys some attachments some tips on the guns um obviously you have to use a lot of these meta guns or the the best guns at least the ones i showed in order to compete with you know the other guns and a lot of these good players and the best players in the world so make sure you're using these things if you like the video today make sure to leave a like get it because if you liked it you gotta leave a like man it means a lot to me you know seriously a like helps it goes a, it goes a long way it goes a far way no it goes a long way and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and comment down below what other gun would you like to see uh be meta for me it's the scg please scg please get buffed more i hope you guys have a great day a wonderful day i'll catch you guys in the next video apathy out